In the last three months, we have been working hard in order to perform all the tests that we needed in order to close and freeze our uh, design of the, of the launch system. In the, few, uh, in the last few weeks, we have been working uh, hard in order to uh, carry out the system CDR, so the uh, critical design review of the launch system. Starting from now on, the engineering team will be uh, working in order to optimize the design for the industrialization of uh, our, uh, our launcher and uh, be sure that all the, the components are fully uh, optimized for the, for the final purpose. We have finished the critical design review for the turbo pumps, first stage and second stage for the Mira 5 uh, launch vehicle. That design is mainly based on the development models that we have been testing during the last months. Uh, more than 12 gas generators, six turbo pumps that were fully integrated with the, with the engine. Uh, we, ha we have successfully uh, tested, collecting a lot of uh, available data that uh, allow us to, to finish this critical design review. Over the last three months, we have built the first Tepril C engines and they're currently in Terra Will being tested. Um, during those three months, we've also managed to uh, finish the CDR and we're actually delivering the designs ready for manufacturing assembly. During this quarter, uh, we've been able to close the design of Mura 5. Uh, to do that, we have performed several tests, uh, accomplishing first stage tests and second stage test. Also, we have performed some qualification of some structures. We have closed the guidance navigation and control CDR. This means that we have verified that the agency function is meeting the performance and functionalities for MUA5 operation. In parallel, we are preparing the agency for its qualification, where not just the software, but also the hardware is going to be tested in the, in the lab. These achievements will leave us just one step away from the final acceptance of the GNC system for Mira 5 flight. Another milestone of this quarter is that we have won the ESA contract NAVISP, where we are going to develop hybrid navigation solution for space transport. During the last, uh, last month, uh, we have been closing the different uh, avionics components uh, that is aligned with the critical design review uh, milestone at system level. Uh, currently, we are in the middle of the qualification test campaign uh, that the, if the final this test is successfully pays, the, the, the final goal is to integrate all these uh, units in the, in the large vehicle that is expected to be integrated at the last of the year. In the past three months, from the manufacturing point of view, we have been working on the different parts of the vehicle, producing uh, stage tanks for first and second stage tanks. We are producing in total eight different tanks at the moment. Uh, we have been also working on uh, propulsion, on the different main components, on the uh, product tree for propulsion, uh, turbo pump components, both rota rotative components and uh, 3D printed components, uh, TCA, both the combustion chamber as it is, and the domes and the rest of the elements associated with the TCA, uh, propellant valves for both liquid oxygen and kerosene, uh, gas generators, and uh, di different, uh, different elements uh, ar around the launch vehicle. For example, we're working also on the uh, thrust frame section, uh, for the first stage and some uh, uh, COPB production for second stage with uh, our, our US provider. We have been working on uh, structures for Mira 5, so the main structure, the primary structure for Mira 5, and uh, we have been producing both composites and metallic structures. You see here the area for production of the structures, metallic structures, the main tanks for first and second stage, and a lot of barrels around. So uh, we start the process for curbing um, and machining sheet metal and then we weld and we produce those barrels and then goes uh, into a final assembly for the complete stage and the complete, the complete tank. Um, actually, you see here uh, qualification one and two, stage one and stage two tanks uh, barrel sections. Uh, and actually in the uh, integration area where we are welding, you see stage one qualification two uh, fuel tank for the first stage. So here you see the main uh, differences between the configuration, the inner configuration for the tanks. This is our North Grid configuration for second stage liquid oxygen tank. And this is the uh, configuration for first stage liquid oxygen tank. And you see uh, isogrid uh, in the inside of the, of, the main, of the main tank. This is actually the central barrel for the liquid oxygen main, uh, stage one main tank. 
So when we have the central barrels uh, fully welded, we attach the domes and the skirts, which are the interfaces between the tanks. And this is the uh, stage two, actually, stage two liquid oxygen uh, upper dome, which is the one that is interfacing with the, with the final uh, part of the vehicle, uh, avionics components and, uh, and the interfaces for the ferro. So here you see the uh, integration area and welding area for the second stage qualification model one. Uh, Fuel tank, uh, we're in the process of uh, final uh, welding, final assembly with the, with the process of welding. Actually, you see the robot here uh, moving uh, for the location where it's going to perform the automatic TIG welding for this specific uh, tank. Uh, yeah, we're in the process of building a complete launch vehicle in-house. So making, um, producing from scratch, this engine requires a huge amount of uh, technologies and materials. Basically, we use electroplating for combustion chamber. So we start from copper and we end on the chamber made of copper and nickel uh, plated. Um, turbo pumps are made between machining and 3D printing. So casings are made with 3D printing and rotative components are made by machining. And uh, a GG is mainly made in on, on machining, but we have a version two uh, GG made for uh, for its qualification process, and we will use uh, additive manufacturing for, for that. And it's basically uh, same technologies. You, you can see in all the launch vehicles around the world that uh, clearly uh, developed to make uh, massive production. So we need to produce a huge amount of those engines for meeting the needs we have for the Mira 5 uh, launch manifest. And this is the first uh, full assembly configuration where we want to demonstrate that we are able to produce an engine every two, every two weeks. So this part is the integration area and pre-processing area for structures and we do here the uh, processing of the metallic structure to open hatches and, and, um, and put the, all the inserts we need for the final assembly of the tank as well as the integration of the inter tank with the with all the propellant valves, we need the, the control flow valves and, and the sensors we, we apply for this specific uh, part of the, of, the, of the vehicle. In particular, this one is the second stage liquid oxygen tank, and we are preparing this uh, qualification element to make sure that everything uh, on the vehicle is ready for its final, uh, let's say, freezing and starting the production for the Flight One vehicle. So here we are in the integration area for propulsion components uh, from the main valves to uh, injectors to turbo pump assembly and the full engine. So here, here you see a uh, Chepel C engine, the DM11 uh, engine. Uh, has not the turbo pump because we are checking some components on the turbo pump, but you see here the size of the this is stage one engine. Uh, so imagine first of those running on the first stage of Mira 5. Uh, one of the most uh, critical elements in the engine and stage uh, propellant lines is the, the, main, the main valves. The liquid oxygen and kerosene valves uh, are super critical and are subject to leaks and malfunctions during, during testings. Uh, so we, we developed from the ground up the, a new set of valves uh, for Mura 5, uh, stage one and stage two valves that will be used on the, on the engine assembly, as well as a stage valve for the uh, propellant loading and unloading. So this is completely developed by PLD. Now those valves are going to the well for, for testing and will be later, if all the acceptance passes, uh, will be integrated into the, into the engine or into the vehicle. So this is a stage one turbo pump. This is a 100% developed, designed, manufactured and tested by PLD. This is a, a turbo pump for the Tepel CDM engine. We call this one uh, T TPA turbo pump assembly 2.1, which is the second generation of turbo pump we developed. So we did this uh, turbo pump DM11 was, te was tested in the bench, was tested in the T1 bench, and later we developed this upgrade version with changes in the pumps and, and shaft for uh, for the uh, engine testing. So this turbo pump will be integrated into the Chepard C DM11 engine and will be tested, hot tested in the in the T7 bench. In the past months, we have been speeding up uh, non-destructive evaluation processes at PLD. For example, you see here uh, extra inspection for a barrel to dome welding. So we are checking that everything is well manufactured. 
Uh, in addition, we are focusing the effort on uh, ultrasound inspection for the thicknesses for each ba individual barrel once we, it has been uh, milled. Uh, CT scan, we use CT scan mainly for turbo pump elements and some specific weldings on the, tool, on the, on the engine components. And finally, we use a lot of dye penetrant testing for ensuring that both weldings and machining processes are well performed and it's uh, compliant with the expected results we, we, we can uh, later uh, validate. We use different uh, metrology techniques to make sure that the both manufactured elements we produce in-house or the subcontracted components we, we buy are in the proper conditions, uh, intolerances, and general dimensions. So you see here, stage one combustion chamber and stage two combustion chamber. And uh, the, there you, you can see some uh, lead components for the, for the dome uh, assembly. So basically all the components we produce or we buy comes here to our metrology inspection area and passes all the checks that the, the team requires. Over the past three months, we have been working on the construction of new testing facilities in Teruel for both propulsion and structures. We built the T7 bench, which is the one we are going to use for uh, development testing and qualification testing of stage one engines, as well as the uh, long running full mission for second stage uh, engines. Uh, we also built the T3, that is the bench used for static testing and compression for, for both uh, first and second stage uh, structures, but primary first stage structures, uh, both the uh, composite structures and uh, metallic structures. And the T9 uh, bench, which is the one used for the staging uh, separation for between the first stage and the second stage. And it's the one we are going to use for validating all the complete process to reduce the risk of that critical event in, in flight. Uh, finally, we built a multi-purpose slab that is going to, uh, has been used for the burst test of the cryogenic uh, liquid oxygen tank on the first stage and is going to be used in the future for the integration of the strongback system for putting in vertical the complete launch vehicle and validate everything before shipping the, the strongback and all those components to French Guiana. Use this horizontal test bench called T6 mainly for a bulk qualification. So we have been de developing from scratch uh, liquid oxygen and kerosene main valves for the engine and for the gas generators. And this is the bench where we test for uh, qualification and go in uh, to uh, even burst of, of the valves to make sure that those valves are, can't leak during engine operation or during pre-engine operation, uh, as well as the GG valves. Um, so we, we can apply liquid oxygen and kerosene to those valves and test it uh, for, for all the conditions we, 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 we can we consider for the environmental conditions. And we use the same uh, qualification process in, in our headquarters for vibration testing. But this is a, a bench also used for horizontal testing of the gas generators. So gas generators on stage one and two are used for uh, running the turbine, uh, supersonic turbine, so we use the main fuel and oxidizer from the main lines on the engine to feed the, the GG. And um, we have been developing the GG from scratch. Uh, gas generator development is hard. We suffer several anomalies on both first and, and second stage, so we tested and made some iterations on the injector plates and the full design to find a good solution that can withstand the engine uh, qualification. Now we have two different sets for first and second stage that can withstand the development, en development engine testings. And uh, we use those gas generators on both stages for testing the turbo pumps and accepting those turbo pumps before engine assembly. Now those turbo pumps have been, have been assembled in the uh, engine on the first stage and second stage engines. And next steps is to start with the uh, full engine qualification. Here we have in the T1 bench, the uh, Tupper C vacuum uh, version one, which is the uh, development engine made for uh, testing the turbo pump assembly with the engine, uh, verifying ignition and shutdown sequences, and uh, overall engine performance. Uh, so this engine has a turbo pump already qualified and accepted for this assembly with the GG and the, and the chamber. This is a number two chamber, which is the second uh, fully engine assembly we bring to this bench. And now we're in the process for this assembly and, and later we'll start the test campaigns for, for this uh, engine, engine version. Um, next will come the uh, version two that will have the nozzle extension interface as well as some improvements from the manufacturing point of view to make, to make those, those uh, engines uh, more easy uh, easily for, for, to produce and more uh, serial pro, uh, serialized for, for that production. So um, 
we accept the engines here and we, we test uh, different configurations for, for spin start, the different uh, uh, configurations for valve, valve opening, valve sequencing, and, uh, and the ignition uh, steps we, we, we follow. We, we gather that information, we optimize the sequences, and once we have everything, um, let's say, validated at demonstration engine level, we'll go to full, full, full engine qual qualification. What you see here is the remains of the stage one liquid oxygen tank uh, qualification model. This is the uh, part we can find of the, the boost test we did for the stage. So basically this tank was suffered a series of testings to make sure that can withstand the loads, both internal pressure and compression uh, in the past weeks. And after that, after those tests, we put it here and we perform a boost test to make sure that the stage can, uh, and this tank can withstand extreme conditions uh, that we apply. Obviously those uh, conditions will not happen in flight, but we need to correlate those models and obtain the maximum information as possible uh, to better characterize the structure. So this is the uh, T9 bench and this is the uh, interstage testing or staging testing uh, for Miura 5 second stage and first stage uh, mechanisms. So here what you see is the second stage real size small cap uh, attached with the uh, nozzle extension on the second stage nozzle extension uh, engine and the stage one uh, interstage uh, mock-up. And the uh, purpose of this uh, testing is to make sure that the staging process uh, happens smoothly. So we can separate stage one and two. We can characterize those separation, that separation event and we can characterize the retainers and pusher effects uh, on the stage and on the dynamics of the separation. Um, we did dozens of testings to make sure that both retainers and pushers are working properly and can separate in the uh, timings respect uh, stage one and two. And uh, with that, we can ensure that this critical event will not suffer anomalies in flight. On what regards to the qualification test campaign that we subject to the different uh, avionics components, the type of testing that we perform here is uh, functional and electrical testing to validate the, 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 the design or the different re uh, performance requirements. And also uh, we subject uh, the, 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 the unit to a complete uh, environmental testing, such as, for example, barbing, uh, thermal cycling, thermal vacuum, uh, humidity, sulfur, and also uh, random vibration and sinusoidal vibration. Recently, we met a very important milestone in the Mira 5 uh, program development. We started the civil works at uh, CSG, so we are now the, the first private company to start this kind of operations and uh, uh, building up our launchpad at ELM uh, Diamant. In parallel, here uh, in Spain, we are working hard um, preparing all the infrastructure that will move there uh, very soon uh, in order to prepare the, the launch zone and the preparation zone for to start the launch operation in 2026.